Hi there YouTube, um, we're gonna do a short video today, uh, probably some uh, people are gonna hate me for this video, but anyways, uh, here's what we're gonna do, so I have this customer, it's not the first one, I've seen quite a lot of these uh, lacy drives with issues, well laces and other, other brands as well, um, <coughs> which has a USB type C connector um which the problem is as follows as you can see when the cable is plugged in it moves quite a little bit and uh, first it will only work it will only connect to the computer if it's at a certain angle uh, and after a while it's not going to connect to the computer whatsoever no matter what you do now a lot of shops will tell you that you need a data recovery which is not true. So uh, what you need to be doing is actually either have this USB Type-C replaced by a shop or if you're in a rush and you don't want to spend that much data and you don't really care much about the drive or even if you care but you're just in a rush and you don't want to spend money this is what you have to do. We're gonna open the drive okay so we're gonna remove this uh, bumper from it then on the bottom you're gonna have four by the way this was already fixed by Seagate uh, for the same problem um, we're gonna remove these four screws now a piece of advice for you people who have this uh, type of drive or any kind of external drive do not carry the drive with the cable plugged in that's one of the main reasons why the connectors are getting broken okay with those four screws removed we're gonna pull on the on this part and this will expose the actual drive typically right here you're gonna have a seal okay remove that seal this was open before by Seagate it was fixed before so um, okay now what we have to do we're gonna pull on the drive itself okay we're gonna disconnect the drive this is the hard drive where the data is stored. Right here is the problem board, which has the USB Type-C right there. Now you're asking me, how am I gonna connect this to the computer? Well, 99, first of all, uh, many people are gonna, million shops are gonna tell you you need a data recovery because the drive is damaged, blah, 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 blah. Not true. All you need, you need to have this drive and you have this connection. This connection is called SATA connection. That's spelled S-A-T-A. -A. What you need to order is basically uh, get yourself a uh, SATA to USB or USB-C adapter. It's probably about $10, $10-$15 on Amazon. Uh, that cable will connect right here and you connect it into your computer this is going to be your drive so you can access the data now if you want a more permanent solution you would want to get an external hard drive enclosure okay this is a 2.5 inch drive not a 2.5 a 3.5 inch would be a desktop drive which is a little bit bigger uh, so that will not work for you i mean it will work but that's not going to make it portable Long story short, order on Amazon or your favorite online retailer. This is what you need, hard drive enclosure, USB-C or USB-3, whatever your computer has. Um, and all you need, that, that enclosure, basically this, you will just slide it into a different enclosure, which have this one good, you will slide it in, it's not gonna look nice and orange like this fella. Uh, but it's gonna do exactly the same job and then you'll connect it to the USB-C to your computer so I hope you uh, you got this uh, you, this video actually helped somebody some of you guys um, you'll end up for this repair as I said probably spending about 15 bucks 15 20 bucks and uh, yeah that's that by the way, the um, SATA to USB-C or USB-3, you can find it in a local uh, Best Buy store or uh, 
probably from Staples, whatever they sell electronics, Micro Center, B and H. If you're uh, in New York, um, so yeah, you can have uh, you can get back to your data in pretty much the same day. Okay, so that's as simple as this goes. Now, again, uh, I have a different video for a Seagate drive. Uh, this is also, as you can see, it's a Seagate drive as well uh, inside of the um, uh, of the Lacy, where people actually did that, and then they started to hear some clicking sounds, or they were not able to access uh, their data. Uh, that is pretty much in that case is yes, you do need a data recovery. Okay, in that case, take it to your uh, local shop or uh, take it to a data recovery lab. I can recommend you Drive Savers; they're very good uh, in uh, recovering data. But for 99% of you, you won't need a data recovery for this uh, scenario. So, anyways, uh, long story short, uh, I hope that this video helped some of you guys. If it did help, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.